Today's public safety announcement from Rattle Can Guitar Restorations is all about ear defenders. Uh, if you are doing prolonged, high decibel uh, operations, uh, wear ear protection. Put your ego to the side and uh, just put the foam plugs in, put the ear defenders on. Uh, I have lost the majority of my hearing because of protracted high decibel operations uh, from both music and shall we say, the sound of freedom. Uh, and it's no fun. Uh, wear your hearing protection. Good morning, sunshines. Today's gonna be fun with a capital PH. Uh, this is the the Prairie Lazarus 12 string and we're going to cut the top of it off today. I'm going to route a channel inside the binding hopefully tearing this whole thing off here so that way we can lift the soundboard out have the binding and the purfling remain intact um, and hopefully only channel down far enough to where we get into uh, the kerfing strips. Those are those little um, blocks of wood on the inside that hold the soundboard up and attach it to the, uh, uh, to the sides. Um, it's going to be an adventure. Um, this is what I've had to do. I have no idea if this is even going to show up or not. This is a circular guide uh, for this Dremel on a, on a router attachment. And what I've had to do is to cut away about 80% um, of the guide. So when I put it down, it will track along the side of the guitar, uh, keeping me uh, away from this uh, binding and purfling here. Um, and cutting out uh, really close to it um, because the goal is to get a nice uh, channel so that when we make uh, the replacement soundboard it will just fit in there nice and neat um, uh, and be fairly easy to replace. Um, Dremel uh, makes all kinds of nifty cool tools to route on the outside edge um, uh, of a piece of wood. Uh, I have not been able to find anything where they make it where you can route inside of an edge so uh, that's kind of what we've uh, come up with. Uh, and we'll see just another another adventure so uh, hold tight this could be uh, uh, this could be pretty disastrous. Well, I see this, I see this wiggling as I'm moving. It will kick back and the whole thing's going to flex. This thing right here, it flexes. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to readjust it so that this is further up into the collet, and that way it doesn't flex so much. Because when it jumps like that, you can see right there, I'm going through the black band on my uh, on my binding here and I don't want to do that so stand by all right I'm not sure which uh, genius uh, has designed this um, but if you'll notice to keep the Dremel in this um, in this router base if you need to tighten or loosen the collet um, you have to have a finger the size of a small child to depress this. Now I'm glad that they gave me a access port, but to actually utilize it, um, uh, I'm gonna, obviously going to have to find a uh, 10 or 11 year old child shop monkey uh, to do nothing but hold that when I need to uh, change pieces out of the collet. So, grr arg on that design element.
All right, sports fans, uh, there we go. Routed out all the way around. I'm going to guess that my uh, problem my, with that chirping was that I was trying to take out too much at a time. Um, it's not much, but apparently it was enough uh, to make it throw a fit. So, lesson learned. Um, I've gone in some places through the white part of the binding into the black part. So what we may end up doing is sanding out that white ring, getting to the black ring, and then we will have a four layer binding instead of a five layer binding. So now um, the task is to get these braces um, undone. There's two of them. Um, and uh, start cleaning all this up. So, stand by for that. Ta-da! There's your bracing on the back that we'll get to recreate. And then there is the bracing on the inside. We'll have to remove these two pieces off of here. Clean up the edge. Um, get a better view of this broken brace here. This one's just come undone. Um, so there's at least one, this one's undone here, two, because this one has a crack right there. So we've got to make at least two braces and a new sound, a new soundboard. So sweet. Um, okay, uh, we got the top off. Uh, this is cleaned up uh, a little bit. There's still a little bit of work left here to do. Let's, uh, let's look at braces here and uh, we'll talk a little bit about um, uh, what we have. So let's flip this over like this. Um, this is a pretty, it's a pretty crappy job. Um, there is a little bit of uh, relief here, but other than that, I mean, it's just, it's not sanded, it's rough sawn, um, it's, at least it's quarter sawn, so we got that going for us. Um, I want you to see the gaps here. Can you see what I'm talking about? Um, yeah, they're not even, I mean, they're not even loosely put together. I mean, I could, I could put a pencil in there on how, how loose that gap is. Um, and it's kind of a, it's an interesting brace pattern because I've been looking at brace patterns all afternoon. Um, these brace patterns and um, I don't even see this one uh, anywhere. So I don't know if that's indicative that this bracing pattern is just really unique or if it just was uh, so 
mediocre that it just never caught on. Um, uh, because if you just look up bracing patterns in both classical and steel string guitars, they don't look like this at all. Uh, at all. Um, this is called ladder bracing because it looks, duh, like a ladder. Um, as opposed to cross bracing or fan bracing or radial bracing or any of the myriad numbers of, of bracing patterns that there are out there. Um, so yeah that's kind of interesting um so you know what to do uh do i replicate this pattern um and just do it better scallop the braces you know all the way to here scallop and narrow all that out same here, same here, and then this way as well. Do I do that with the new top? Um, the benefit is if I do that with the new top, then I can use the existing brace lines here, brace holes, cutouts, whatever you want to call them here. Um, hmm. Yeah, well, isn't that a bucket of something? Uh, and then the other thing is, do I attempt to repair this? Which, uh, pretty sure the answer is negative chili pie because let's see look at that that is a big that's a big popping out there and then this is a big popping out there so my guess as to what I'll do is I will remove these one at a time craft a new one and then um, uh, and then replace it and put it back in uh, attempting to replicate the belly this curve that's on the back and if I replicate this brace close enough to form then it should be fairly straightforward um, so, uh, yeah, that's where we're at um, as far as bracing. So now we're going to finish cleaning this up, uh, and then we're going to start cleaning up the little leftover wood that we've got here, um, and then sanding down through the white part of the, uh, uh, of the binding down into the black part so that I have a consistent edge all the way around. Um, and then it's going to be ordering uh, a new soundboard, probably a, I don't know, cedar or spruce, one of the two. Um, and then uh, new braces. Because um, I think this one's, I think that one's just too far gone. I really do. I don't see, and there is, see that one's cracked. Can we see that right there? We're cracked on that one. Everything else is intact, but it's just, it's just crap. And, uh, you know, if I'm going to do crap, I'm going to do my own crap. Not somebody else's crap. Capiche? All right, so that's where we're at. So Lazarus is, uh, is coming along. So stay tuned. All right, let's, uh, let's do a test.
Wear your mask and your personal protective equipment. And plug your stuff in. Alright. <laughs> Let's do that again, because that was kind of fun.